Now, the great Arsene Wenger said that the 4-4-2 is the best formation to play in because you have most of your team in the centre of the pitch. Two centre-backs, two centre midfielders, two strikers. That's 60% of your team in the centre of your pitch. Where is the goal? It's in the centre of your pitch. So, that means if you can stay very compact in the middle, defending in a 4-4-2, you should be able to reduce the amount of chances you guys concede and the amount of goals you concede as well. And when the great Johan Cruyff said that the striker is the first defender, this is what he meant. When the opposition left centre-back has the ball and you're the striker here, your aim is not to get the ball and try and tackle. Because when you run vertically like this, the centre-back can either play here, play there, or just play it back. Your aim is to block off the other side of the pitch, which means when this centre-back has the ball, can you curve your run here and corner off the pitch, quarter off the pitch, if you'd like. So if you can curve your run like this and limit the options that this centre-back has on the ball, you've been very effective in the way you've pressed. You haven't even touched the ball, but just by doing that has allowed your team to move over to this side. Here, 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 here. And the opposite fullback. so if you're a left-back and the ball is with the left centre-back, you should be in line with this penalty box line here. Not here, not too close, just here knowing that this right winger is free and giving that opportunity for the switch. Because while the ball is in the air, what have you guys done? Of course you've shuffled over. Then you've left the opposite side free and this right back has come in line there. And that way you stay very, very compact in your 4-4-2 or your 4-4-1-1 shape. So it all starts off with the striker. If the striker can do this, you've blocked off the options. Then we're looking at staying very compact here and having our trigger to be the pass out wide. As soon as the pass goes there, then we're going aggressive, 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 aggressive. We shuffled across like this, having left the opposite side free, knowing that if they switch the ball, it's okay because we can shuffle across together. And now we're asking the opposition the question, how good are you to deal with us in tight areas? If they can drop the shoulder and go past you, fair enough, you've got to give it to them because at the end of the day, individual ability exceeds all tactics. That's a fact. And if you can be very compact like this, then they might resort to a long ball, which is just a 50-50 opportunity for you guys to win the ball back, or they go back. And as soon as the left back turns back, your aim as a striker is not to press the potential pass, which means that this pass could happen. Then they've switched, they could cause an overload here. Look, there's an overload just like this. Your aim is to block off the switch. Once again, your aim is not to get the ball. So, if the left back turns back, as a striker, you want this pass to happen. You do not want to go here too early for this pass to happen. So, you're almost waiting and saying, go on, play this pass. Because as soon as this pass goes there, then you're curving your run and you're very aggressive and then you can really push them to one side and they'll end up clipping it long for a 50-50 battle. But if you go here too early and this happens, as I've said before, you have a potential overload on this side and that can cause problems. And that's why the striker is the first attacker because the striker dictates which side the opposition goes. As soon as the ball goes here, blocking off the pass there, letting them come to the right back because we've shuffled across like this in line with the penalty box and now we're saying, go on, play the pass, aggressive, 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 and even if he goes here, makes a run, we follow, and let's say the striker drops in, we follow. We're man for man after the first phase. If they go back, the striker is not getting too excited and saying, oh, wait, I can see the pass there, I'm gonna go. No, the striker is waiting for the pass and then pressing. The striker goes there too early, this happens, this happens, and then it's a 2v1. We do not want a 2v1 against us. We want a situation where it's always 50-50, they need to go long, and then we can compete for aerial battles. We wait here, as the pass goes there, we're curving the run, we force them there, and then we're still not getting the ball as a striker. We're just curving the run here and saying, go on, go on, aggressive, 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 and then they'll probably go long. And that's why Johan Cruyff was absolutely right when he said the striker is the first defender of the team.